Celebrate the feast of the Apostle St. Andrew, the brother of Peter, who brought Peter to Jesus. He was the first to, he was quick to believe that Jesus was the Messiah. We have found the Messiah, he said to St. Peter, his brother, and didn't say anything further, just brought him to Jesus. And um, <clears throat> he was a fisherman, of course, with his brother, Peter. He was also a disciple of St. John the Baptist, and uh, was faithful to our Lord. He preached after the death of Jesus and when the apostles scattered throughout the world to preach Jesus. He went to Greece, and there he was martyred. He was martyred, uh, he was crucified on a cross the form, in the form of an X. But he preached as the apostles did, and they were called to do, to preach to, to the world, and preaching is such a, a beautiful thing to preach, as, as the scriptures say. It says, beautiful are the feet of the one who preaches the good news. How beautiful are the feet of those who bring the good news. They're bringing the good news, and that's what we're doing when we preach. We're preaching Jesus. We're preaching, as St. Paul said as well, I, I've come not to bring uh, to preach a wise argumentation, but to preach uh, Jesus crucified. That's what preaching is all about. Uh, it's not about the preacher. It's not about uh, fame and glory and uh, being uh, well-known. It's about preaching Jesus, about preaching his wisdom, the teachings of the saints, the wisdom of the saints, the wisdom of the of the church, as we say in uh, you know, in confession and when the preach, priest is uh, being asked questions by someone, what, what is the truth? He is to preach the, the words of Jesus, the teachings of the church, not his own opinions. Otherwise, we have confusion in the church and we have all kinds of different teachings. And that's not a beautiful thing. It's not beautiful to hear just the opinions of a, of a man, but the truth the truth of Jesus, the truth of the gospel that he, had, he has given us. And this is what's beautiful. These are words that are more precious than gold, the, the psalm says, more precious than gold, than a heap of purest gold, sweeter also than syrup or honey from the comb. We want to uh, absorb the words of our Lord, the preaching and value preaching, to do it ourselves uh, m more in example, more in our actions than in our in our words, to preach the truth, the beauty, the beauty of the truth, and uh, we have so many beautiful examples of that. Even Saint, uh, going back to Saint, our, our Lord, of course, is the the greatest of all preachers, who uh, touched the hearts of men and brought them to conversion, and in. And uh, founded his founded the true the true faith the Catholic faith on his uh, his truth and his uh, the power of his person the power of his words he preached more by his person than in, he did in his words but his words were he didn't even spend the first thirty years of his life of course he didn't speak uh, publicly but he spoke in his example his example of humility and dependence on God and his spent time prayer in prayer and forming Our Lady to be the mother of men. He preached in his example in those 30 years and that's an exa example to us that we don't have to rely on words so much but rely more on God in our prayers and our sacrifices. This is what Pope uh, John Paul II did. He was on an airplane once and a cardinal came up to him to ask him a question, and he was praying, and uh, the Pope turned to him and said, is it, a, is it an important matter? And he said, yes, it's very important. He said, well, okay, then I'll keep praying instead of talking. And we all think that talking is what 
is you know the, the imperative thing to do. I need to talk. I need to convince. I need to uh, set him straight. I need to, you know, I need to do all this. I, I, I. Instead, it's uh, our focus is on our Lord, our Lord and uh, God touching their hearts and converting them from the inside. As Saint Maximilian said, I have realized that it is it is through prayer alone that brings about conversions in the world. Prayer primarily, prayer, prayer is what uh, touches the hearts of men because it is our, our Lord who, who is doing the work. We are just the ministers, we are just the, the instruments, the vessels of the truth, of the holiness of God. Uh, and that's what we have to constantly remember. We are vessels, we are not there to uh, exalt ourselves. And you see that in Mother Teresa, as she would preach, you know, she wasn't, you can tell she wasn't comfortable talking. She wasn't uh, trying at all to uh, uh, exalt herself or make herself uh, the, the uh, center of attention. Instead, she wanted, she just spoke the plain truth, the love of God. St. Francis too, when he spoke, they said his words were burning burning words and they touched the hearts of men so strongly that crowds of people came to him and wanted to be guided by him and led by him. It is we have to let the words of our Lord, the, the power of his, um, his truth and uh, his, the power of his, uh, his uh, Holy Spirit to work in the hearts of men and we need to get out of the way and let the truth shine forth in us if God wants to use us but to pray especially and to depend on prayer, depend on God to touch the hearts of men and bring about conversions and to do, to do what God has led us to do as his, his instruments. <laughs> Please, Lord.